Greetings, YouTubers. How's it going out there in YouTube land? Just another day slash night in paradise, right? That's what I thought. A little drizzly out here today. It's nice and cool, but uh, spring and summer's on the way. It's going to be getting hot, so I uh, kind of like the cooler weather for now. There's the old trailblazer. We got a leaky leak. We got an oil leak I want to uh, show you where it's at and uh, how to fix it. Pretty common on these trailblazers. So this is where I typically park, and you can see I got some oil spots. Uh, kind of hard to see now because it's raining. The rain has covered them up uh, more than I thought they would be, but uh, I got some spots here where it's been leaking over the last few months. And you can see there's a couple of more, but in a nutshell, that's what we're going to be dealing with today. So if you're parking in the same spot over and over and you see some oil dripping under the front of your engine, more than likely this is where it's coming from. All right, so what we got to do, I've got the vehicle up on ramps, got the emergency brake on, and we've got to go way down here, way down here. <laughs> we got to get into the vehicle, and I've got a light shining up in there, and see right there, that is the oil sending switch. You got to change it out. It looks like almost it's dripping off the uh, oil filter. That can be a little misleading. People will be looking up in there and they'll say, oh, my filter is leaking. Well, it's not. Actually, what it is, it's leaking off of the sensor onto the oil filter. So if you don't know what you're looking for, it can kind of be overlooked and you'll end up replacing the filter and just having a, a leak to, to continue. So um, you can see it's uh, getting pretty bad. So I've neglected it so long, I felt guilty, so today I'm going to go ahead and change it out. And I've already got a sensor for it now. There's not a lot of room in here, so what you got to do is figure out a way to get your hand up in here between uh, the sway bar or perhaps this hole here. And we got to take a deep well socket to get that off, so let me show you the deep well socket real quick. Six point, and there's my sensor that I'm going to be putting in. It's a used one. I've had it forever. It's in good shape. It doesn't leak. I'm going to be sticking that on there. So. I'm actually shooting this video on my little cell phone, so I'm going to see if we can get this sensor off real quick somehow and change this one out. Okay, so through the magic of putting a light upside down, sticking it above the uh, <laughs> sway bar, I'm going to try to get my hand up in here and try to unhook this while holding the camera and putting my hand up here like this. Let me see. Maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. How about that? Ooh, look at the oil. That thing is just soaked with oil. Now, some of these are two-prong and three-prong. This is an O2, and this one is a two-prong. And look at that. That oil is just pouring out of there. So it's uh, in pretty bad shape, so I'm glad I'm doing this now. Now, the next thing is uh, i got to somehow grab this uh, ratchet and deep well and get that off there. So let me try that. All right, let's give this a try. The things I do for you guys to get video. Hey, I'll admit it. I love doing videos on YouTube. All right, let's see if I can get this up in here. Don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to have to look through the viewfinder of the camera here. And hopefully I can get this off. I don't know. I may have to figure out a way to... Get a smaller extension on there. It looks like that's hitting the back of that uh, line there. So let me try something different. This socket here is a 27 millimeter, and there's just enough room here. If I get it really loose, I might be able to spin it out with my hand now. But taking this out, it might lose a little oil. So I don't know if I can get this with one hand or not. I'll try my best while holding the camera, and uh, I don't believe it. So we may lose a little oil. Yeah, yeah. I might have to get a pan or a rag here and catch some of this. Hang on. All right, whatever. I'm just going to have to take it on off the way it is. And my dog is barking next door to the neighbor, so hopefully it doesn't make too much noise. Nothing I can do, so it's just going to have to drain out. Shouldn't be a whole lot, but here is the sensor. Let me get it out here real quick. Okay, so there's the old one. And it's pretty much done, and there's the new one. It's uh, in really good shape. It's two prongs. See, the wires are the same. So now we gotta go ahead and stick this back in there. I'll go ahead and stick my hand up in there and screw that in. And I don't think you need to watch, I don't think you need to see uh, me do that, but 
in a nutshell, this will give you some idea of what you got to do to change it. So let me go ahead and stick this uh, new one in and see if it works okay. All right, so I did get it on. So we're tightening it up there just a little bit. Not much room to move that ratchet, but it's tightening it up. I put some silicone on there to make sure it's uh, nice and uh, leak proof. And we'll go ahead and finish tightening this up. All right, there we go. All right, so there we go. Get this off here. It's on. So now all I gotta do is go ahead and hook that wire up. And let me see if I can do this while you're watching me. Lots of oil, wow. <laughs> and plug that in. All right. It's back on. Take my cloth. I did put a little silicone on that, just so you know. I think I just said that. When you're laying upside down, you're not thinking straight sometimes. Get it? <laughs> All right, so we'll wipe the grease off and uh, we're going to start the vehicle up and see if the oil pressure gauge is working. All right, let's see what we got. Oil pressure gauge right up there. Boom. All right. I like it when a plan comes together. All right, so it's working. Let me uh, let it run for about a oh, half hour, and we'll come back here and we'll take a look under there and see if it's leaking. All right, it's been running for a half hour, and it looks good. No more leaks. I think you can see that fairly well. I'm a happy camper. All right, so uh hope you like this video, and if you have a trailblazer, four point two inline six they all have that problem and uh here's what I've, i typically use some high temp sealant on the uh, threading part here you do have an o-ring here but it's always good to put a little bit of gasket maker or sealant on there silicone so i hope you liked the video guys and uh this is gonna make me really happy i don't have to be embarrassed now when i park outside in front of my house i don't have oil leaking everywhere and all that so having said that that is going to be a wrap if you like any of my videos give me a thumbs up and say hi let me know where you're watching from and sorry about the birds out here they're going nuts tonight must be coming a storm or something hey until my next video guys thanks for watching and i will see you later